Hello and welcome to the Out of the Sandbox video guide to the Turbo 2.1 Shopify theme, Mega Menu. Today, we're going to take a look at the new super robust, ultra flexible Mega Menu that comes bundled in with the most recent version of Turbo being version 2.1. If you're using a previous version of Turbo and you would like to take advantage of this new ultra flexible Mega Menu, then I encourage you to update your theme any of your favorite ways, including using the Out of the Sandbox Theme Updater app to update to the new version while keeping all of your past configurations intact. If you have configured a drop-down menu in the past using the Turbo theme, or any other Out of the Sandbox theme, or if you're looking to configure a regular drop-down menu, the same steps still apply. And if you'd like to check out those steps, Take a look at the homepage setup video or the previous Mega Menu video for the Turbo theme um, for details on how to create a regular drop down menu. Whereas, if you would like to create a Mega Menu that can feature images and multiple menus, text captions in a super robust, ultra flexible way, then follow along here as I am on my admin panel and I go into online store. I already have the Turbo 2.1 theme published here. And I'm going to go over to Customize Theme. And you may see there are no Mega Menu sections here in my Sections list. So that means I get to head over to the General Settings tab, down to Mega Menus, and enable as many Mega Menus as I will require. So I plan on creating one big drop down from this Shop link here. So I'm going to enable the one Mega Menu. But if I had other main menu links under which I would like to show a mega menu, then I would enable multiple mega menus here up to a maximum of five. Then as I jump back to the sections tab, here I have a mega menu section where I can start to configure some settings. So the first setting that I'm greeted with here is the link title. And here I will enter exactly the name of the link that I would like the mega menu to appear under. So here I've entered shop to correspond with the shop link there. Then as we go here to add column within the content section, the menu begins to display here and we can start to add some pieces of content, starting with the top text area, which looks like this. You can bold or italicize this text and then you can have this link to anywhere within your shop or an external link, followed by an image. So this is the top position for the image within a column of the mega menu. We can add a caption below the image. And then the image and caption can link again to a page within our shop. As you see, the image is centered in the one column that we've added so far to the Mega Menu. So that's why it looks the way that it does. But as you see here, as we add more columns to the Mega Menu, this center alignment makes sense with the layout of the menu, even alongside these left aligned menus and these left aligned text areas. Below the image, we can start to add some menus. So here's a menu of some products. If we'd like, we can have the title of this menu link somewhere, and that can be set right here within these settings. We have the ability of adding upwards of four menus in a single column of this dropdown. So that's what it looks like with a second menu added. I'm actually going to leave that out for now and then show you here that we also have the ability of adding another image which will appear in the bottom position. Followed by an image caption for that image. A link setting. And then another text area. So I'm just showing you this so that you can see what all of those options are. You may not want to design your column quite like this. In fact, I'm going to remove this image and the caption for it and the text from the bottom area there. Great. 
as I go ahead and add another column. And as we see, the layout adjusts automatically to accommodate for that second column. So here we've got another text area, and you see how it's now rendering in that second column. Let's select a menu here, and then instead of putting the image in the top position, I'll put it here in this bottom position. It can look something like that. And then enter some text here for this bottom text area, just to show you what that looks like. So we can continue to add columns and populate them in the same way. And using those exact same settings, you could create a mega menu that looks like this one, where we've got all five columns being used. The first three columns have two menus in each of them, and then the last two are displaying some images, with one of them having an image caption. Well, you know how that's made now, uh, having just seen those settings. Similarly, in the sole demo here, here is a single row of links. So these are four columns, each with a top image, and each of those images has a caption. No actual menus within this one, just linking images and image captions. Here is one where we do have a menu in the leftmost column. All five columns are then being used to target specific products. So there are a couple of ideas of how you can use those exact same settings to create a mega menu of various layouts and designs. So that's all there is to it to create one of these new mega menus using the 2.1 version of your turbo theme. If you hit any snags or had any problems, head on over to help.outofthesandbox.com to check out our new updated support center filled with a plethora of resources to help you out. My name is Sean Campbell. Stay tuned for some more videos about new features in Turbo 2.1. Thanks for joining me. Take care.